Welcome, folks, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming from Phoenix, Arizona. Today, we're going to be talking about something really cute and adorable, actually. You've seen him recently as Leonard in Jurassic World Dominion, the Lystrosaurus. Not actually a dinosaur. Lystrosaurus is actually a prehistoric reptile and one who is actually gracing the video games of Ark and Jurassic right now. So I figured we'd give him a quick little talk about. The name means shovel lizard in Greek, and it is a genus of herbivorous dissodont theropods from the late Permian and early Triassic, so before dinosaur times. So pretty long time ago, I'd say the least here, a few million at least. Lystrosaurus only had two teeth and a tusk like canines is what they were. So that adds to the kind of cuteness level in there. Just think about it. It's like, oh, I'm not a little herbivore. The shoulder structure though of Lystrosaurus shows, shows us that it actually had a sprawling gallop kind of thing, sprawling gait. So semi-sprawling, semi so he's gonna be going like, eh, 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 kind of like you know, a kitten or like an old man sort of thing. He's not gonna be doing a giant gallop to say the least. Lystrosaurus could be two to eight feet long, and there's actually four different species of the of the Lystrosaurus. There is Curvactus, Macagai, Morai, and Declavius. And hopefully I'm pronouncing those right. Now, Lystrosaurus is important to paleontologists because while we do have a lot of Lystrosaurus, to say the least here, there is actually a pretty good number of specimens that have been found. A Lystrosaurus does help when paleontologists are digging up fossils because it helps mark the end of the Permian and the beginning of the Triassic due to the sediment that it, Lystrosaurus is found in. It's like a good marker of like, okay, here's a time frame that we're looking at with these specimens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little talk about Lystrosaurus and learned a little bit about the classic cute little prehistoric creature. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more paleo and nerd content. And of course, folks, comment down below, dinosaurs, prehistoric creatures you'd like me to talk about here and a quick little recap or things you want to see from Dino Times. I've been your host, Dakota Morgan. And as always, remember folks, science is